The volcanoes in Vanuatu, South Pacific, are some of the most dangerous in the world. The deadliest is the Benbo, the world's biggest emitter of gases with a depth of 300 meters. Ulla Lohmann and her husband Sebastian Hoffmann set out to climb deeper into the Benbo than any before them. Along with filmmaker Jochen Schmal, they begin their expedition on the island of Ambrem. In the three months prior to the expedition, the region has been afflicted by a devastating cyclone and an eruption from a neighboring volcano. There is no infrastructure and no means of rescue or support. The crew will be left to their own devices in a harsh volcanic environment. With well over two dozen expeditions to Ambrem, Ula is close to the villagers of Lalinda. The volcano's influence on the island makes everyday life difficult. On a whim, the winds can affect rain acidity, render drinking water toxic, and destroy harvests. The expedition requires an abundance of equipment and supplies. Fortunately, the adventurers can rely on the local community for support. Half of the village pitches in to help carry the packs up to base camp on a five-hour hike to the foot of the volcano. Approximately 17 kilometers in diameter, the rim of the caldera marks an abrupt end to the jungle. The team crosses the ash plain, which feels like they've landed on an entirely different planet. Standing on the edge of the precipice, the crew looks into the magma's fiery glow for the first time. Engulfed by ashes and the roar of the lava pool, there is no longer any doubt that Benbo is still alive. The next day, the crew embark on a 150-meter-long abseil down the first of three terraces leading into the inner crater. Any changes in the weather can turn their route into a deadly cascade of rocks and acid rain. On the second terrace, the heat emanated by the lava and unstable gases are ever more palpable. With temperatures of approximately 1,000 degrees Celsius, wind poses a constant threat as slight alterations in breeze direction can put the crew's safety in jeopardy. Finally, after overcoming all challenges, the crew find themselves standing 60 meters away from the lava lake. The ground shaking beneath their feet as the team look down in awe. They forget time and remain for hours. A moment these explorers will never forget as they feel the forces of nature more vividly than ever, gazing into the heart of our planet.